Here is a photo of the nuclear reactor, Unit 4, that melted down in Ukraine in 1986. Ukraine was part of Russia, actually part of the USSR or the Soviet Union at the time. And they had a nuclear reactor meltdown, and this is a picture of it after it melted down. Now, at this time, it was emitting radioactive materials. So immediately after this happened, the Soviet Union covered it with a steel and concrete sarcophagus. And here's a photo of that sarcophagus that you can see right here covering that melted down reactor. And like I said, this sarcophagus is made up of concrete and steel. Now they put this up in 1986 to make sure to contain the nuclear radiation that was being emitted into the atmosphere. So it was only supposed to last from 1986 to 2013. Now they made plans to put a new safe confinement structure over the top of the sarcophagus that was supposed to be built in 2006 but it did not begin construction until 2010. They expected it to be finished by 2013, but it actually did not get completed until 2016. And here's a photo of that giant structure, that safe confinement structure that they built over a period of six years. And you can see here, it is 105 meters high and 257 meters across. That equates to 344 feet high, which is about 44 feet higher or longer than an American football field, and 843 feet across. Now, they didn't build it over the top of the sarcophagus. They actually built it away. The sarcophagus is, would be over in this section of the photo, kind of down and to the left. And what they did is they actually put it on tracks. And over here in this section, there are tra wheels that are on tracks. And over here, there are wheels that are on tracks. So when they were finished, they just rolled it forward over a period of two days. It took them to roll it forward and cover the original sarcophagus. And that original sarcophagus was pretty much at its lifespan. So they had to be sure to get this in place before the 30 year lifespan of the original concrete and steel sarcophagus was finished. Now here on Google Earth, we're going to go to the Chernobyl, Ukraine. And here's, here's, here's Chernobyl right here. And if we pull back a little, you're going to see that this area right here was pretty much evacuated. And up here, I believe the, I believe you pronounce it Pripyat. This area was completely evacuated. Nobody was allowed to live there when the nuclear or when the, uh, nu when unit number four had a meltdown and nobody has been back since. What I found interesting was this, that when that nuclear reactor melted down, it actually sent black rain over the city of Gomel right here. And it sent a heavy dose of radioactive material over this city here. And I believe that is pronounced Bryansk right here. They also said, if I can pull back here, that they got nuclear contamination readings up here in the highlands of Scotland, the mountains of Scotland, over here in the uh, Welsh mountains right here. And they said they got readings of it right here in the Alps. And they think that weather took it to the high points of the mountains and dropped it down as snow. I'm not sure why it, they didn't get high readings anywhere else other than Bryansk, but that's what they say. Now, if we go into Chernobyl, here is the city of Chernobyl that was pretty much abandoned. And if we head kind of north and slightly west, we're going to come up to the exact location where they had the meltdown, which was right underneath the giant dome that they have in place right now over the original concrete and steel sarcophagus that was that is covering Unit 4 that melted down. Apparently it's still emitting radiation, so they have to make sure that it is contained. Now one of the things that I like to do is take a, an old photo and compare it to what I see on Google Earth. Now, if you look at this old photo here, you can see where the original nuclear reactor was right here. There's, a, it looks like a cooling vent. And to the right of this photo, you'll see a waterway that comes up and makes an angled turn right through here. Back here at Google Earth, that cooling vent is actually down here. And that waterway comes up through here and makes that angled turn going this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this around to try and line it up with the photo a little better. Right about there. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll be semi-close. Zoom in a little, and I'm going to point out some 
some of the details that we can see. So, okay, so here's the angled waterway, and here is the nuclear reactor underneath the new safe confinement structure. Now, back at the photo, I want to point out a couple of things. Right here at this angle, you can see there's an empty field over here, and there are some high line towers or high power structures holding up the high power lines right in here. You see this road, or what look, appears to be a road right in here. There's another small waterway right through here. The other thing I want to point out is there are three little tanks right here. One, two, three. There are three things that look like tanks, some type of water tank maybe. And then this structure right here has this funny looking structure, like a covered bridge coming out of it. Now back here at Google Earth, here is the angle. There is the field I pointed out. Here is the high power line structures. There is what what looked to be a road to me right through here. There's the, the little waterways. And right here, if we zoom in a little closer, you can see those three little tanks that I was talking about. And this structure right here with that looks like a covered bridge coming out of it right through here. And also you can see the original chimney right here in the middle of this structure. And that would be this chimney that you see right here in this photo. So if you look a little closer, you can see where they did build this giant structure here back over in this area, rolled it up on what used to be tracks right here and right over here. This is the exact location. I'm going to turn this north again. But this is the exact location of the nuclear meltdown they had in the Ukraine on April 26, 1986, right here. And you can easily find it on Google Earth. So there you have it, the nuclear meltdown of the nuclear reactor Unit 4 in Ukraine, which was part of the USSR or the Soviet Union at the time. It took place on April 26, 1986. And it's right here on Google Earth.